This is Dan Ariely's Decisions to Exploit in Business and in Life. I'm Alex Berman from Experiment 27. Dan Ariely is the author of this book, Predictably Irrational, The Hidden Forces That Shape Our Decisions. Worth checking out. The gist of this book is it's all about what sort of environmental factors affect the way that we make decisions. So it's a lot of fallacies and a lot of real life uh, examples that influence the way we make decisions. Putting a lot of this stuff into practice will help you sell more and become a better business person. So here are the takeaways. Number one is the truth about relativity. The example he gives in this book is about The Economist. Basically, The Economist is a magazine. They wanted to offer two subscription options, internet only subscription for $59 and the print only subscription for $125. But they found that more people were going to that internet only subscription and they weren't making enough money, right? They need to increase their print subscriber rate. So what they found is by adding a third option, which was print and internet subscription for $125, they could increase the number of people that signed up for that third option, thus increasing print. And the takeaway here, the big thing is that people don't compare price based on what the value is to them. They compare prices based on the other prices they see. So when you see as a consumer, the internet only subscription for 59 bucks, you think, oh, that's a good deal. And the print only subscription for 125, you think, oh, that's not a good deal. But when you see print and internet subscription for 125, you see that as being a better deal than the second one, and maybe even a better deal than the first one because you get two things for that same larger price and you're more likely to go to that one. The other thing that Dan Ariely points out in this book is the fallacy of supply and demand. For pricing, the first price a customer hears is going to be that price that's anchored in their head. So for instance, if they're looking for marketing services, like they're looking to buy from us, and they talk to a vendor, and the first person they talk to says their marketing services are $15,000 a month, whether or not the customer thinks that's a ripoff or not, that is the price in their head. So if I come and I say that we're $25,000 a month, they're gonna say, oh, that's more expensive. That's pretty expensive. Or if I say we're $2,000 a month, the customer immediately is gonna say, why is it so much cheaper than the first guy? So that initial anchor, being the first person to give a price could actually help you uh, if the customer is talking to multiple vendors because it puts you in that position of power where you control now what the customer is gonna think. This is also a reason why people say publishing your prices on your website is a good idea because it gets the customer ready for the price uh, negotiations ahead of time. Number three is the problem of procrastination and self-control. Dan Ariely says that if a person sets their own deadline and it's a clear date and time that a thing has to get done, they'll get it done. They're, they're more likely to get it done than if they had no deadline or if the company assigned a deadline. You can use this with your employees where basically if you give them a range, so you say, um, let's say we have a client deliverable and, and the presentation's on Friday. If I say, hey, the presentation's on Friday and we need it done by Thursday at 2 p.m., does that work? I'm a lot less likely to have it done on time than if I say, hey, it's, it's due Friday. When do you think you're gonna be able to get it done? We need it at least 24 hours before then. And then I let my employee give me a time. Even if that time's the same, even if it ends up being Thursday at 2 p.m., according to Dan Ariely's research, he's gonna be more likely, my employee is gonna be more likely to deliver on time. The other one is the high price of ownership. Dan Ariely points out that we value our own products and services a lot higher than other people do. The IKEA effect states that we don't like giving things back once we own them. Um, and we tend to value our own stuff a lot more highly than other people's stuff. Our aversion to loss and feeling of ownership dictate that we hang on to it. This is also why Casper Mattress does their, whatever that long guarantee is, like 120 day guarantee on their mattress. Cause they know once you've had this mattress, you're sleeping on it, it's part of your lifestyle. It's part of your habits. You're not gonna give this mattress back after 120 days unless it's really, really bad. Two more to cover. The first one is the effect of expectations, which states, and I quote, when we believe beforehand that something will be good, Generally, it will be good, and when we think it will be bad, it will be bad. This is the effect of expectations. If somebody comes in and they expect your service to be great, they'll be looking for reasons why it's great, and it will, it will tend to reinforce itself. Same thing if it's bad, they'll be looking for reasons why you're screwing up or why it's bad. This is also what Jack Ma was relating to uh, when he talks about the Forrest Gump effect, which we also did a video on that's worth checking out. The last one is the power of price. 
The more expensive something is, the more you value it and the more value it has to the customer. So a customer is going to get more value out of a service that costs $10,000 versus a service that costs $200, not just because the abilities of the person doing the service might be higher if they're charging $10,000, but Dan Ariely says that it's also because the price is higher. Right. If somebody pays, if a company pays one point five million dollars for an all in like mobile application stack, iOS, Android, web, they're going to value that a lot more and they're going to care a lot more about it than if they had bought the same type of application off of Upwork for 20 grand. And this is something you can use for your advantage. And this is actually another argument for raising your prices uh, and using value based pricing. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up on YouTube to encourage this type of content. Subscribe to this channel for more B2B sales training. And if you need marketing support for your digital agency, check out experiment27.com. Thanks.